So let's take a look at how we can use notes to take handwritten notes as well. This is a really, really good way if you just want to quickly jot down some ideas and you don't necessarily have time to, to start typing everything down. It's just thoughts and ideas. And even better, if you're one of those people who really like to use visual notes, draw pictures, draw diagrams, etc., to represent things. Notes has the ability to have a drawing tool built into it. So again, I'm going to start a new note. I'm going to tap on the pen nib, which is in the right side of the keyboard at the top. And you'll see now that I have access to the drawing tools that you may have seen in some of the other iPad tips videos that I've done. I have a range of tools from pens, highlighters, etc., rulers, which can help me to define things with on my page. Now, it just allows me to be able to make those handwritten notes. It picks up what you're writing really, really quickly and easily. And also, obviously, be able to you know draw pictures if I wanted to highlight something in a little bit more detail. When I'm using a highlighter, what's useful here is if you change the opacity down, that means that when you highlight over the top, it actually works as a highlighter rather than hiding what's written underneath. Something that's really useful, and you can tie this in actually with the lines and grids that we looked at earlier, if I turn on the ruler... I can actually use this to help me draw straight lines. And you'll notice also it allows me to measure those lines. So this, the uh, measurement will go up as I draw the pen along. And then if I turn the ruler, you can also see that it gives me angles as well. So in a couple of ways, you know, I can use this to measure the angle that I've just drawn here. Okay, that's quite useful. Or I can use it to help me draw a 45 degree angle, etc. So there we go, using the pen tool to do handwritten notes or drawings within notes.